care for the body, care for the soul, care for the planet. Singapore has a long tradition of soothing all three. As well as providing the most fun you can have while getting fit, start in Singapore Botanic Gardens, very close to the city centre. Good morning. Good morning. With plenty of space for exercise and enjoyment. To venture further afield, explore the southern ridges, a 10 kilometer long green ribbon of parks connected with spectacular structures such as the Henderson Waves, Singapore's highest pedestrian bridge, making sightseeing a breeze. Singapore's rainforest has been gently opened up for the locals and the traveler to enjoy. And the vision for the city-state is constantly to expand the outdoor network. Under the Green Plan 2030, Singapore aims to triple the length of bike paths, including the rail corridor. What was once the line from central Singapore towards Kuala Lumpur is now a blissful green lane. For hikers as well as bikers, the first stretch of the Round Island Loop is 75 kilometres long, covering the eastern half of Singapore and linking existing parks. Eventually, it will wrap right around the island. Whether you've walked 10 kilometres or flown 10,000, it's good to immerse yourself in indulgence. There's nothing like a swim to soothe away the stresses of a journey and there's certainly nothing like a swim at the Marina Bay Sands Infinity Pool, 200 metres above the streets of Singapore. It gives a whole new meaning to the term 200 metres freestyle. Sentosa Island is home to the Raza Sentosa, offering an array of treatments to relax and re-energise you. Getting around Singapore is a joy on low-impact, high-quality public transport. Born in 1987 and world-renowned as hyper-efficient and environmentally sensitive ever since. No, not me. Singapore's Mass Rapid Transit System, or MRT for short, moving more than 3 million people a day using clean, green electric trains. The MRT network is constantly expanding. Gardens by the Bay is one of the newest stations. Hybrid and all-electric bus fleets are building up fast the city-state has a radical plan to produce 30% of its nutritional needs locally by 2030. Singapore's commitment to sustainability is most clearly shown here on the 51st top floor of the Capita Spring building. It's an urban farm growing everything from rosemary and sage to spinach and pumpkins. The head gardener is Brent Pertel. I like to call it a chef's garden. Uh, they, we have three restaurants within the building, and so all of the produce from this one garden goes to those three restaurants, which is quite fun and quite unique. It's, from what we know, it's the world's highest uh, edible garden. At the Chimes Complex, a cheerful reinterpretation of the former convent of the Holy Infant Jesus, one of the bars goes the extra mile for the environment. Recycling has never been this much fun. At Analog, the bar top is 3D printed from recycled plastic. Time for a journey to the source, to Singapore's first gin distillery, the Brass Lion, and a meeting with the founder, Jamie Coe. I really wanted to create a Singapore gin, a gin that will reflect our heritage and our, you know, the, the abundance of local ingredients that we have, um, and to create that product to address the need for the local market. At Brass Lion, we try to source as sustainably as possible, so we get all our botanicals from within a five kilometer radius of the distillery. Constant change is the signature of Singapore, and as the city-state accelerates into the future, it's so good to see body, soul and planet in alignment.